Now we got to the part where we start adding a little bit of dressing to the song. Now, because this is classic house music and um, it's a little bit deep, we don't need too many facts, too many wishes and whooshes and stuff, but we still want to um, help those transitions a little bit and uh, sort of punctuate each section. So um, I have uh, selected a few sounds, this ones. I have a couple of crashes. I have uh, a reverse crash and uh, a razor. Shh, one of those sounds. I am going to drag them into Cubase. Bang on different tracks, please. Yes, convert them, please. And now there they are. Let me give them a nice uh, orange color. And then I'm going to assign similar colors. And there you go. Here I got more than one. Okay, cool. I don't care. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Let's try and put it. At the beginning of a oh, let me let me put them down in volume because usually these sounds are normalized, so we really want to be careful. Okay, perfect. So this is a good crash for the intro. At this point, because I have the structure here and um, and and I have the samples here. Everything for me is quite visual when I put this thing, so I already know that I'm gonna need a crush for the intro. Not suggesting that you do things automatically or that you're not creative, but you know, this is the dance floor, it's got certain rules. So, um, okay, you know, this definitely needs a crush because I'm introducing the snare drum. Then maybe I can wait a little bit and um, maybe okay. Maybe I could put it on 17 again and then not play it again. And when the bass comes, I'm not going to use anything, but this new crash I'm going to use for the A section. Perfect. Also, I might want to use before this bit, I might want to use this reverse crash. Uh, let's see. I uh, like that. It should work. All right, so let's see. Okay, that's a bit too loud. The reason why I'm using clip gains is because I still want to make sure that I am not exceeding this famous minus 12 that we've been talking about in the other course about how to mix one of the rules is that you shouldn't go above minus 12 on the master bus so that you know you're safe and um, your plugins will be a lot happier when it comes to mixing so i'll just keep going You know what, if I do this and I just bounce the selection and replace it, then I won't have to worry about the placement of it anymore. And I can, for example, put it right before the breakdown in this area and also right before the outro. And then... Let's see, okay. And then I can have this crash again in this section. So when it goes dry here, let me take the reverse out of the equation here. Here it's nice. Do you know what? I could actually use the reverse one so that we keep it dry. Ah, uh, no, that's a bit too cheesy. 
let's not do that. But when it comes to vocals, yes, let's underline that with a crash. And in the breakdown, we're gonna go back to the first crash, which is a little bit more electronic, a little bit more dreamy. And this is our reverse effect, which should end up right there. Uh, let me make sure I got it right. Yeah, let's listen to how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> 